Hey guys, it's Sarah, less of Sarah. Happy Friday. I am here with my 30 week update post VSG or vertical sleeve gastrectomy weight loss surgery, which I had November 30th, 2012 in Mexicali, Mexico with Dr. Aceves. Um, so weekly update video, lots of stuff to talk about. What a surprise. Probably not going to be a short one. Shocker. Um, we're going to talk about the numbers. I'm going to do some shout outs. I'm going to talk about meeting VSG bear. I'm going to talk about, uh, Dr. Aceves, um, and uh, something that he had said to someone else about me, which was interesting, and also um, Ken and Stephanie, who were my uh, surgery day buddies and how they're doing. I'm gonna talk about people noticing my weight loss, um, talk about skin issues, uh, talk about, do a little review of something that I bought at Trader Joe's. Yeah, it's here. And talk about why I'm dressed like this. So, let's start with the numbers. Um, last week, no. Let me start with this. My highest weight was 460 pounds. That was the end of September 2012. I lost 40 pounds pre-op, so my surgery day weight was 420 pounds. Last week I weighed in at 283. Um, if you've been watching my update videos, you'll know I've been kind of doing a stair step loss thing for the past six weeks. So big loss week will be five to six and a half pounds, and then the next week will be a small loss, a pound, a pound and a half. And um, that's been going on the last six weeks or so. Um, so... I was 283 last week and I lost six and a half pounds last week. This morning I weighed in and I was 281.5. So once again, the stair stepping has been holding true. I lost a pound and a half this week. Again, I'm still thrilled with a pound and a half. That's great. Um, truthfully, I'm losing more than I really expected. At this point, I was expecting that my loss on a monthly basis would start really slowing down and that maybe I you know, would be losing 10 pounds a month. But um, I think this month I've still lost... 14 or 15 pounds. Um, I'm going to do my monthly update on Sunday. It'll be probably fairly quick, but um, I didn't really want to combine it with this video for a couple of reasons. So um, yeah, I'm still losing more than I expected, but uh, I'm not complaining about that. <laughs> um, so my total loss this far is, I believe, 178.5 pounds from my highest weight and 100 and... 38.5 pounds um, since my surgery. So that's great. Um, speaking of surgeries, I wanted to do some shout outs to people who have had surgery in the past week or so um, or who are having surgery today. Um, so I want to do a shout out to Christy Blake, who is uh, a friend of Sarah Nerd in Oregon's. Um, she had her surgery, I think the day after Sarah. So it was a bit more than a week ago, but I hadn't done a shout out. So What's up, Christy? Uh, Buffy Rue, who had her surgery a few days ago. I'm glad that you are uh, are doing good, Buffy. Good to see your videos. Um, my, my Golden Butterfly had her surgery this week. Um, losing it one step, Ginger. I believe her surgery was a couple days ago. Maybe I'm getting confused. But anyway, I know that her surgery is around this time, so congrats. And my beautiful Sleevelicious Rachel had her surgery uh, this morning, I believe, and she's already got a video up of her completely stoned out of her mind, which is fantastic. I love those videos. Um, I don't actually have a video of that, so otherwise I'd totally post it. So congrats to all of you. I know there's got to be some people that I'm missing. Um, this was kind of off the top of my head. Normally I try and go back and check uh, my video feed, but um, if you have had surgery or are having surgery, congrats to you guys. Um, it's one of my favorite parts of this journey is being able to watch people who I maybe started watching at the beginning of their like six month diet, you know, supervised diet and get to follow them through all the way to having surgery and beyond. I also have to do a special shout out to uh, my friend James, um, James RNY guy, whose uh, YouTube channel is no more waiting 2199. Um, James finally has a surgery date, July 24th. Um, I am over the moon for you, James. I'm so thrilled. And, uh, you know, I love your videos. So, okay. So that was shout outs. What's next? Oh, Mike VSG Bear. So, um, you guys probably saw, uh, my video uh, that I made with Mike and that I made after I met Mike driving back from Syracuse. I don't want to go into a whole bunch of stuff, but I just want to say it was so awesome, uh, getting to meet, um, Mike. He's great. Uh, we had a great time hanging out. Hopefully we're going to get to hang out again in August. Um, it did kind of make me miss the other people in that little group that I hang out with that I haven't had a chance to meet, um, but I was I was lucky enough to get to meet Mike, so that was awesome. Um, and I wanted to mention it because I want to encourage you guys, if you have friends that you've made through YouTube or Facebook and you're going to be somewhere where they're going to be, I mean, absolutely reach out to them and say, let's have coffee, let's do something. Um, 
I, this sounds kind of creepy, but I've been meeting people from the internet for years. Um, I've been part of internet groups for various things since I was probably 18 or 19 and have been meeting people that I met online that I honestly have never had a bad experience. Um, so don't be afraid. <laughs> um, Dr. Savas. Okay. So first thing I wanted to say was, um, uh, you guys know that my friend Sarah Nerd in Oregon had her surgery with Dr. Savas last week. And, um, it's always kind of special to me when people are going to Dr. Aceves and going to, to Mexicali and tell me her hospital and I get to, uh, you know, follow their journey. It's a reminder. I mean, she made some videos from the hospital and it was just like, it makes me feel warm and fuzzy because it reminds me of being there. And, um, I don't know. It was just like, I, it was an emotional experience for me knowing that she was there and going through the same thing and going back to what I was going through you know, post-surgery or even pre-surgery and, and uh, how much things have changed. So it was really special to me. Um, but I guess she she told me that um, Dr. Savas had come in, happened to come in and she was watching one of my videos, um, uh, one of my immediate post-op videos because she was wondering sort of what I was talking about uh, for day three or whatever it was. And uh, so Dr. Savas came in and saw that she was watching the video and he said, uh, she said, oh, you know, do you want to see what she looks like now? And he was like, yeah. So she showed him and, um, he actually said he was blown away by, um, my progress. And that was awesome. I mean, it's great to have anyone tell you that they, you know, are proud of you or that you look great or whatever, but there's something special about when your surgeon says that. Um, and obviously I've mentioned a million times, I just love Dr. Savage. I think he's a wonderful man. He, gave me a new life and so um I have nothing but good things to say I actually plan on making um a video specifically about Dr. Seves and Mexicali Bariatric um because I know there are a lot of people who find me through searching uh, for information about Dr. Seves and so I'm going to do a, a video on that at some point um just for anyone who's searching and and looking for information about that so um yeah that's that and then Ken and Stephanie you may remember me talking about them a long time ago. They are um, the two people who had surgery the same day as me. Um, Ken had a VSG, uh, Stephanie had gastric bypass or RNY, um, and I happened to catch up with them this week and they're both doing so amazingly well. And I, I honestly think, and I think it's a testament to Dr. Aceves. I think he's a brilliant surgeon and his patients all seem to have really amazing outcomes. Um, and. Ken and Stephanie are no exception. I think Ken said he's lost 124 pounds. I think Stephanie is either just over 100 or close to 100, but she started off at a much lower weight than Ken and I both did. I saw a picture of Ken on Facebook. I didn't even recognize him at all. I really thought it was a picture of someone else. Um, amazing. So I'm so happy for them. Um, if you guys happen to be watching, hey y'all. Um, people noticing my weight loss. This is weird but I've lost almost 180 pounds. And yet in the last couple of weeks, people that I know, and by people I know, I mean people who have seen me relatively frequently since I started losing weight, um, so in the last eight months, have all of a sudden all started to tell me, hey, you look great, oh my gosh, you've lost weight. Like, you didn't notice before? Like, I I don't know, I find it really weird, but it's another thing that just goes to show me that I'm not the only one who doesn't recognize myself. I think the reason that they've started noticing is that I've hit the point that I do now look really different. Um, and so, yeah, I, I mean, it's great. I'm not upset. I just think it's funny that it just seems to happen all of a sudden that these people are all noticing that I've lost weight. But, um, I said to someone in a way, I, I almost find it reassuring and flattering because I feel like it means they didn't just see my weight before. So some of these people might be people that I see, you know, almost every week at karaoke or whatever. And I realize when they looked at me, they didn't just see, you know, a super morbidly obese woman. They really saw me. And that's the reason why they didn't notice my weight loss right away. And so I, I actually feel good about that. So, um, I thought I'd share that. Things I don't feel good about. Excess skin, blah, like... Uh, like I'm starting to have loose skin on my face and it like sags like I'm jowly <sighs> see hmm unhappy don't like that um smiling a lot trying to make it better <laughs> um the loose skin on my body is pretty bad 
um, I feel like I'm starting to look really abnormal now, like deformed abnormal. Um, really self-conscious about especially my thighs and my arms. Um, my belly is always covered, so I don't love it, but no one sees it. But the thighs and the arms, like, there's no way you would catch me wearing shorts or a short skirt. Um, I try and not even wear short sleeve shirts because I don't like how much of my arm fat shows. So, struggling with that a little bit, to be honest. Um, you know, it's the not recognizing yourself and then not liking what you see either. Um... But I think it was Nikki or Nikki or Julie who said to me, uh, "Those are your battle scars, and you should uh, you should be proud." And and I am proud, and I guess I just have to change the way I look at it. But um, it can be a bit of a shocker for sure. Uh, Trader Joe's. Um, you may have seen my Trader Joe's grocery haul. I bought a whole a bunch. I bought a whole bunch of stuff there. Exciting news! I found out that uh, they are opening a Trader Joe's in Buffalo, uh, in Amherst actually, exactly where I normally go shopping. Like, I'm over the moon about this. Um, they're just building it now. I don't actually know when it's gonna open, hopefully within a few months, but I'm so excited. Because all the stuff I bought at Trader Joe's was awesome. Like everything that I've tried, amazing. Really excited to be able to shop there all the time. One thing I bought was this, and I showed it at the end of the video. It's Trader Joe's Coconut Body Butter. Um, I think it was either $6.99 or $8.99, and it's a pretty big, uh, tub I'll show you I think it's um, eight ounces and it's um, co got coconut oil shea butter and vitamin E this stuff is amazing first of all it smells amazing if you like coconut it smells really good um, I've used it on my body I've also actually been using it on my face normally I wouldn't recommend using body cream on your face it's usually too thick um, for the skin on your face and and that can cause issues but for me my skin has been so so dry on my face that I needed something that was heavy duty um, and this is doing the trick beautifully um, I had been using straight up coconut oil which is fine it was working well but it's oily and so you get like a shiny face and it, it can be a little messy um, so uh, I have switched over to just using this and I love it so I definitely suggest trying it if you uh, have a Trader Joe's near you finally why am I dressed like this? <laughs> um, today is the very first uh, game of the season for my hometown uh, football team, Canadian football team, called the Hamilton Tiger Cats. Woo woo! Um, I have been a football fan my whole life. Um, my parents have had season tickets since before they were married. Um, so I think this is probably about the 40th year that they've had tickets or 41st season that they've had tickets. I got my own ticket when I was three years old and I've been going to games ever since. Football in the summer and fall is like my life. I'm super into it. Um, I love Canadian football. If you guys don't know, um, the CFL is the Canadian Football League. Um, it has actually been around, um, not the CFL itself, but Canadian football has been around for over 140 years. It predates American football by quite a bit. Um, it, uh, my team, the Ticats, um, have also been around for that long. Um, I believe somewhere around 138 years or something like that. Um, and their rivalry with the Toronto Argonauts is the oldest professional sports rivalry in North America, which is kind of cool. And so tonight, the Ticats are playing their first um, game of the season in Toronto. So I am off to Toronto with my parents and with my oldest son uh, to go to the game and cheer on the Ticats. Um... If you guys haven't watched Canadian football, um, which you probably haven't, uh, first of all, try and catch a game if you get a chance. Um, it's usually on ESPN2 and also NBC Sports Channel, I think, is going to be showing it this year. Um, it's, a, it's really exciting. It is fairly different from um, American football. Uh, we play three down football, not four down, so it's a lot faster game. Um, not that I'm a size queen, but we have a longer and wider field and also our balls are bigger. So um, that makes the game fairly different. It's a really fast paced game. It's a big field. It's very exciting. Um, there's a lot of passing. And so uh, it's a really cool game to watch. So I encourage you to do so. Um, I'm really excited about the game tonight because like I said, you know, football time is my time of the year. And I'm excited to be wearing a jersey finally. This is my husband's jersey. It finally fits me. Um, and so that's my NSV for today. I'm finally in a jersey. Um, later on next year I'll probably get my own, but for now I'm just wearing hubbies. So, um, 
yeah, that's my update for this week. And as always, remember to appreciate every step in your journey. Have a great weekend.